Hello everybody, greetings to Yumenoshima Park. There's a sign right there, the sign does not lie. Yumenoshima means Dream Island. It's a bold statement. This is Dream Island made from landfill trash. Yeah, and we're gonna find out why. There's a lot here to see and do though. Just over there, you can see behind me, there's a train going by that's um, going towards Chiba. This is Shinkiba Station. It makes a stop there on the way to going to Tokyo Disneyland. So that's not that far away. Neither is, um, uh, what is the park? Kasai Rinkai Koen with the big Ferris wheel. It used to be the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. Now, not so much, but it's still a beautiful place, beautiful park to take a stroll. I'm really excited about this because I was studying this map and I learned a lot. You can see this, this is um, a green area in an industrial area of the city that's usually warehouses, not a lot of, a lot of parks here, not a lot of parks, but this is gonna be the venue for the 2020 Olympics archery field right here and the 2020 Paralympics. Uh, so it, it's a significant park built on trash. Here's where we are right here and you can see the station is not that far away. I, I walked underneath the highway, the Metropolitan Expressway Bayshore route we're here and I'm going to go up and cross over and I'm going to take a look at the archery fields, a little bit of the park, but I'm very curious about this, the Daigo Fukuryumaru Exhibition Hall. Daigo Fukuryumaru Exhibition Hall. In 1954, uh, at the Bikini Atoll, the hydrogen bomb was tested. The ship Daigo Fukuryumaru was in the zone and the crew was effect infected with radiation. They brought the ship back. It was abandoned because it was radiated. And in 1976, uh, it was deemed safe. And it's housed in this in this area. So we're going to go take a look. I don't know if we're going to go in. I might save that for another live stream. It's a very important story. But the, to talk about the crew and how they were affected in the 1954 hydrogen bomb uh, test at the Bikini Atoll. But that ship is here. So it's a little bit of history from the 1950s uh, in the radiation era that we can see as well as the Yumenoshima Tropical, the Yumenoshima Tropical Greenhouse Dome, which is not too big, but it's really an oasis in this oasis of a park, Yumenoshima. And there's a marina here, a very big one where rich people house their boats. I'd love to, if you have a boat here, give me a contact. I would love to go out on a cruise with you. And then over here is the Shinkoto Incineration Plant. You can tell by the icons. There's even an icon for the incineration plant, <laughs> which you can see in that tower. Japan burns garbage and the filters on the top of it are very, very good. So nothing, I can't say nothing, but the filters really filter out the uh, air. This is where I'm, I'm most curious, the Daigo Fuku uh, Maru Exhibition Hall, Fukuryu Maru Exhibition Hall. So stay tuned and watch until the end and then I will take you back to the station to Shinkiba and then you will know how to get here. So watching to the end has its benefits. Let's get started on a live stream. We're live. Go ahead and click like button. And if you want to make sure you catch this from the beginning, you might want to subscribe. Push that always button, the notification bell, and join us on Instagram because I put it in stories where you can link up to the video, usually five to 30 minutes in advance. Oh, stairs. These yellow um, tactile, I guess that's the word, are for the blind. So they know when they touch it to stop and don't go down the stairs. Now you can see the station and the highway a little bit better. Yeah. I don't know, it's a, it's a landfill island. Yumenoshima Park is a landfill island. It's not the first one in Tokyo though. The first one is out near Odaiba. And that's been growing since the uh, early 20th century. This one, I believe they started to make it in 1930, the mid 1930s. And uh, <laughs> it's got some pretty cool history. Greenlight Courier Service, thank you. Welcome. That's the Botanical Garden and we're gonna be heading there as well. This is interesting. You, you know, you do walk around a park and you'll find some Pretty neat stuff like this totem pole. Pretty cool. But I, I this park I always I've never been inside of it. 
Kanai has never been here. She's at, she's at home right now, probably watching. We're going to Fukuoka tomorrow, so there's going to be some live streams at the airport, Haneda, as well as uh, in Fukuoka for the next two days. It's going to be an exciting few days of live streaming. There's nobody here, though. There's not really a lot of people here. Let's go past the archery field and just touch into the park a little bit. So you're going to go past here. This is the Yume Noshima Park Athletics Field right in front of us. Getting ready for the Olympics. Manhole! Manhole cover! Alright, this one's kind of pretty. Mostly rainwater going down there, I see. Japan has the best manholes in the world. Initiative that Japan took several decades ago to make dirty water clean. Well, to promote the sewage systems when Japan was installing them, they made beautiful land, manhole covers, and it kind of worked. So the athletic field looks like it could use a little bit of work. Will be a great parking lot for the archery events. We're off to a, a wonderful start to the live stream. I can't, even, I can't go any further. I got to loop around. <laughs> that was a waste. Ugh. Slightly embarrassing. Oh, there's the sign. So from this point, you can say here very clearly, Shinkiba Station is 400 meters that way, and the exhibition hall is 300 meters. So we're kind of between the two. The barbecue field is now closed. Oh, I can already see the archery. There's a target up ahead. Somebody had a bow and arrow? Cool is that? Yeah. So the, a little bit about the history of this place. In 19... Whoa, a big bug. In 1950... Yume no Shima was a beach. You just just imagine those those really high bathing suit bikinis, you know. Probably not in Japan. Where families came out here with their 50s cars, parked out there in the parking lot, and they came to the beach. What? Here? In Tokyo Bay? I don't know. So it was a beach for a few years, and then they closed it, and then they started piling on more trash. Does it smell like trash? No. Not anymore but it is um, part of Tokyo's history. Trash Island, garbage island, rubbish island. Depends on which part of the world that you're in. Can I go off road? This looks like a place where there's tarantulas and stuff in the jungle. All right, whoosh, we're turning this way. Feng Av, thank you for a good live stream as always. I'm very excited about this live stream. We're going off road where anything can happen. Look down for spiders and tarantulas and stuff. City boy. No, you guys don't see any. Japan's not known for its tarantula culture, but I've been, I've been meeting a lot of Australians recently, and it's been on my mind, I have to admit it. All right, looks like there's a wall around it. I don't know, how do we get up there? I want to take a look into the archery event, and then we're going to go to the uh, um, to the ship that was in the Bikini Atoll. I guess it, there's a platform over there. All right, let's go around. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> you could totally do parkour here. Totally do parkour here. Where are your parkour? Listen, young people of Japan, where are your parkour? Parkourians, show yourselves because that would make like a 20 million view video. I could follow you. I'm on a gimbal. This is a gimbal. I could totally gimbal this parkour. Just climb over this wall with your jumping parkour skill. Oh, I see the targets in there. Oh, they're called ninjas. Loki, Loki collects right? <laughs> they're called ninjas. Oh, this is so cool. Check this out. There's people. We can just come in here freely? Oh look, there's kids, they're like doing something. Check it out. They're gonna shoot arrows at targets. Oh, that's awesome. 
The media's here, the international media. Look at that. They're covering this event, but we're, we're seeing it live right now. All right, look, and they've got cameras set up, lots and lots of cameras. Or they like laser guns to show the uh, speed of the arrow. Yeah, this is quite a coincidence. All right, guys, let's see if we can get to the, to the corner. We don't want to go, well, I don't want to disturb anybody. I literally, I did not know. You can see the uh, botanical gardens in the distance. We're going to be working our way over there in this live stream. But uh, it looks like the competitors are checking their hits or something. I want to see them shoot some arrows. I don't know what this event is. I'm just in the park. And I walked in the gate where these people are coming in. Boom! There's an archery event going on. Archery is not a fast sport. It's not like basketball. I, they're doing something. Should we? Maybe we should just come back. All right, we can come back. All right, looks like they're gonna take a while. I don't think you're supposed to be there. I think it's a media only event. Excuse me, only in Japan is media. I've gotten many media badges before. I just did not register. I guess if you don't have a media badge, you're considered paparazzi, so I'd better leave. They chased down Diana. I don't like paparazzi. Kanai and I were watching some documentaries on Netflix and she's very angry at the paparazzi. Don't want to be anything like them. Let's go towards the, go towards the uh, museum, the Marine Museum. So it's already a very interesting trip. Oh, they got acorns. Yes. Totoro, this is very... It's gonna grow into a big tree. Acorns. Wow, this is 100% nature. This one's probably a squirrel stepped on it, look. It's all crushed. The tree's already coming out, look. Give it some help, help nature. I just grew a tree. Mr. Beast, tab one onto the total for team trees. Uh, professors in the house. Hey, John, are you still doing fan meetups? Are you currently planning to do one? Potentially the 25th of November 26th when I'm in Tokyo. For you, Professor, I could do that. Um, <clears throat> I haven't planned on it. I, I'm actually, you know what? I, what I wanted to do in September and I, I just the plans fell through with um, in Shinkiba on the other side of the station there there is a launching pad for the ships that cruise up and down the river and it would be pretty cool to talk to them we'll, I'll get on the phone and see if we can get a boat or get some people together to ride in a boat and do a meetup on the boat it's a competitor to the space boat it's not the space boat but to ride and have a barbecue on the river would be a pretty cool meetup, I think. So maybe we'll, all right, we're already saying November 25th. I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm glad this is out there. So that's 10 days to go. We'll see what the, the shippery people say. They do okonomiyaki on the boat, I think. <coughs> all right, so they're over there. There over there is the botanical garden. We're behind the archery thing, so if an, a stray arrow comes over the wall, that guy will probably be disqualified. The Daigo, here it is. I'm very curious about this because I love history. This isn't the kind of history that, <laughs> good history, but it's history nonetheless. The Daigo Fukuryu Maru was the ship in the Bikini Atoll hydrogen test. So we're gonna go this way. Oh wait, it says, oh, walking is this way, okay. Walking is this way. Watch out for flying arrows. I don't you think I know that? That's why I'm watching this way. I'm, uh, my head is going here. Well, you want me to put the camera on me so it's live? It's cruel people and watching. I'm not really nervous. At least there's a couple of trees here to. We were just watching Braveheart the other day and the arrows 
the English king, Longshanks, he just shot the arrows into his own people, you know? So I don't want to be considered the people affected by Longshanks arrows. I know. This feels like freedom out here, Nosh. This is a jungle. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I think I want to come back here and do its own dedicated live stream, do some more research on it. I literally didn't found out about this place about five minutes before I started the live stream. I started to do some research. Very little <laughs> Wikipedia research. But this is the museum and it's beautiful. A lot of respect paid to this ship that came back. Um, the first victim of a hydrogen bomb is from the ship. And uh, I don't know if we want to go inside. I guess I can maybe just walk in for a second and then escape. But it looks like a ship, right? Upside down. And that makes it really pretty. But, oh, now you can see a little bit of it. You can see a little bit of it from the outside. There's the name of the ship right there. And uh, yeah, this ship was also the inspiration for the God 1954 Godzilla movie. Um, was it? I, don't, I read that from Wikipedia. I said Godzilla, the Godzilla movies were inspired by this. Um, but the crew all pulled through except for one person who died and, and he was the first victim of a hydrogen bomb, they say. So I believe that there's no pictures taken. So let me just show you that sign. It says no pictures, maybe. Oh, cameras are okay. Hey, check this out. You see this? You see that? Cameras are okay. All right, let's just take a quick look in here. Admission is free. I don't want to, um, I don't actually want to, I mean, I feel like I should ask permission. I feel like I should ask permission. Take the tripod off so it's not so. Okay, let's take a look inside. Wow. I hope the signal holds through. This is the ship that, that was out in the H bomb, the hydrogen bomb. Oh man. Look at this. I gotta come back here and do a I feel like I have the history of it to give it the respect, but whoa. So it became it became safe for, and now and now you can come and, and see it. It's oh and they have they have images of the um the Genbaku Dome, the H bomb dome in Hiroshima to show some of the, the power of nuclear weapons and the damage that it causes. All right, I'm getting out of here now. Alright guys, <clears throat> might be too much metal, I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm back outside. It's just a taste. I might do this, I think that this would be a live, like a main channel episode or something. Very, very intriguing. Um, I, I love this kind of historical stuff. Because, I mean, I studied the Bikini Atoll and, and the testing way back when, and you can see it here that's pretty crazy I'm, I'm actually walking this way for a reason i want to get a full view of this museum it did look really cool i am sorry about the signal problems there look at the it how some, somebody wrote how did they get the, sh the the ship inside i think they built the museum around the ship i'm just guessing or they built half of it and then they built the rest of it around it but i don't think it's going to be floating again anytime soon very very cool park Marina. People can take a break and dream. He's a dreamer like Gus. I'm a dreamer. I think that's the engine of the ship underneath the cover there, so you can take a look at it. I 
I was impressed. I, w I really wish we had a better signal inside there. We're walking on garbage. Oh, time to do now. Yay! These trees are growing out of a garbage patch. They seem so happy, really green. But it's autumn, some of the leaves are falling off. And look at them. It's autumn right now. All right. Good. So they're they're going pretty good. <laughs> they're going pretty good. Out of the garbage. Looks like a jungle. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like it, the internet has reacted to my awful song. And I can hear the hakshu or the uh, applause. Hakshu, hakshu. I can hear it. The sound of one hand clapping. Uh, very cool. Uh, I, I like that. I like that museum. I will be back, and I'm going to ask if a local guide can take us around and, and can give us some of the history behind it because I think it's these, these kinds of things nobody has covered before. You know, I did one on the atomic bombing um, for August that really was was pretty deep and got some um, publicly uh, public domain footage from from the military and added that in and uh, kind of connected it to, to, to today. That was pretty cool. Whoosh. All right, to the left side here is the marina. And if you look at the satellite pictures and the thumbnail, huge. The marina is very, very big and you can see all types of ships, boats here. There's some money in Tokyo. And if any of you people who have a ship here, a boat, sailboat give me a call i would love to join you kanai is a licensed scuba diver so she's open water i'm a dive master so if you have any problems we, we're happy to dive underneath there and show you your problems i'm a trained uh cameraman so i could take pictures of your boat from underwater we'll pay our way services and entertainment I always wanted to learn the, the violin or something because then you always have a skill that people want to listen to on a boat and get free passage and stuff. Always have a skill. Here's the park. Do you hear that, kids? St stick with your piano. Here's what the park looks like from above. There's a stadium. It's built on trash. Well, all the buildings on it. There's a marina. It's quite large, and uh, I'm gonna zoom out so you get a better idea where in the city we are. Does that does that help? The original trash island is right there, that blurry patch in the middle. There's Odaiba, right there, and there's the Imperial Palace in the middle. So you get an idea how far we are out here. That's Kasai Rinkai Cohen, and there's Disney. So there's where are you, Spencer? Disney, actually, he's probably here, Maihama. So it's not that far. Shin Shinkiba Station is right there, so you can come here, take a look here. You guys got that? And there's a map in the description, so you can follow this course. I'm now getting excited to walk back to the station because I want to go see the archery people. I want to see some, some, some girl, like sling an arrow right into the target from and they were far away did you see how far they were that's like a football field <sighs> love to see that bring back memories of walking dead where they're shooting crossbows and stuff do they have crossbow competitions why is it isn't that considered archery or is that just a biathlon that they use crossbows in the biathlon which is a bizarre winter event on cross-country skis and arrows. Or no, no, that's a rifle, I think. Yeah, biathlon is one of my favorite events because it doesn't make any sense. Crossbow is mechanical, okay. Some people here know their stuff. 
bi biathlon uses real guns. I hope so. The medieval biathlon? What is that? Oh, that, that place, they use arrows. I got it now. Or swords. After they cross country ski, they have to run 100 meters and attack a straw, straw man with precision cuts. You can see that. Not, not exactly the most exciting view here. Hey, come back, come back, come back. Where are you going? Not the most exciting view we have here. The um, botanical gardens, and it's 250 yen to go in there, and even less for kids and for families. So on the weekend, you'll see a lot of families coming out here. I like this. I'm on the wrong path here. You can walk along the, the pier if you like boats and just come here on a date. I could see, hey, Kanai, are you watching? We, I could see us coming here and just relaxing and watching the sun rise or set. I don't know which direction we're looking at. I can see that. See that. All right, we're going up here. Beautiful. Oh, guess what I see right there? Dun, da, da. Now I, there it is, Tokyo Sky Tree. So you can see this from the Tokyo Sky Tree. If you are in the Tokyo Sky Tree right now, look down at me and wave. I don't know why you'd be watching Only in Japan Go and on the top of the Sky Tree, but I can see you. Pretty cool. I can see you. Right. People are looking at me. But we've come a pretty good way. I like the fact that they have maps in English and Japanese. Um, we're now on this end of the park. So we've, we've, we've gone across the whole thing. Now we're at the marina center. So this would go off of the, the park way. So what we're going to do is walk back along the archery field, take a peek in, and then cut around towards, uh, cut around towards the station. And I'll show you what Shinkiba station looks on. So you might want to hang out a little bit and see something really cool, a train station. Nothing says only in Japan go, like a tour of a train station. right okay Whoosh. to the left we have these um bicycles that you can rent this is one of the drop-off points which is pretty cool that means that you can um pick them up right into the city and leave them in the city you don't have to ride them and then drop them back so i think some people came here in the morning and they left the bike and they went back by train you can do that very nice very nice Interesting. So the marina center here. Oh, can I look? They have tables. What? Can I? They got tables. Look. So you could bring a whole dinner with candles and stuff. Bring some cushions. I can see that happening. I can see that happening. All right, now just relax, John. Relax a little bit. Let's see side. No. You can make friends with the ducks. It takes time, though. I don't have that kind of time. If you, if you build a relationship with ducks over a period of about a week with a little bit of food, they will remember you and befriend you. That's always good feeling. I was feeding them um, when I visited my brother. I was feeding them from my hand. Just took a little bit of patience um, on the duck side, really. Had to go in and get the bread. All right, so there's stuff inside the marina. That's pretty neat. You can go up to the second floor and get, a, get some elevated views. We're not going to do that because we're off of the park. So let's go back inside. Let's go into the into the biosphere, or the botanical garden. Biosphere sounds cooler, but it's not. I guess it's a biosphere. What would you call that? Biosphere. That's a nice looking. So this is the the Marina Bar Lounge. Look up there. I guess you can get a get a drink at sunset. Totally would like that. The the Marina Bar Lounge. There you go. 
heard it here first. Breaking news. I guess people live in there? What's this? This looks like the cooler from The Great Escape. Steve, are you in there? Steve? McQueen? No. He's not in the cooler. I don't think they're toilets either. You don't number toilets number 40, 43. <laughs> Do you? They're not outhouses. I don't know what they are. I think they're, they're cells. If you be, misbehave in the marina, you go to the cooler for two weeks. No windows either in the cooler. Check it out. Look at the back side of this aluminum house. At least the roof isn't held down by rocks, you know? They built it pretty good, so the typhoons probably don't have... Somebody tried to escape. Somebody really tried to escape. Oh my, this is the sign of a, scene of a crime. Look at this. Could be just storage. It's a lot cooler if it was not just storage. Something deeper has a meaning has history. It's a shack. That's not even a love shack. You can't even fit a bed in there. It's one of the great songs of the 1980s, 90s, I can't forget. Love shack. It's not even a love shack. All right, now we're on the very corner. If, if anything, this live stream is thorough. B-52, that's right. It's good stuff. Carl, Carl knows. If anything, this, this live stream is ultra thorough. Every single angle of the Yuminoshima Park has been covered. I've left nothing untouched. Google can thank me later. Speaking of which, I'll be in the YouTube Fan Fest on December 5th. I need your support because Japanese viewers don't watch my live stream or main channel. <coughs> yeah. <sighs> the stairs winded me, I'm out of shape. Yeah. So all the, all the top YouTubers in Japan will be at this fan fest, Japanese YouTubers. And I don't think they've invited too many Western YouTubers living in Japan. So I'm one of the first people to go to collect my award for the 1 million subscribers at the event. Should be a lot of fun. Kanai's coming for support. I gotta dress up, I guess. I'm a little bit nervous because this is not my, my scene. But it's pretty awesome. They don't have fan fests in the United States. Um, they just do it in Asia, I believe. Fan fests. So... It'll be at Makuhari. They're giving me my gold 1 million subscriber thing from Hikakin or Hikikin, one of the big YouTubers in Japan. He's handing them out. So I get it from him. I don't get starstruck, but he seems like a nice enough guy. Got starstruck once. He's in an elevator with Arnold Schwarzenegger in Columbus, Ohio at University. He's pretty big. He didn't, he wasn't that much, he didn't seem that much taller. I thought he'd be towering away, but he was pretty big. All right, I don't know if we're gonna go in. I'm really curious about the archery. It's up to you now. This is very, very weak. We got 516 people watching and I only see 214 likes disapprove. All right, you know what? If we can get to close to 500 likes, your best effort, I will get a ticket and just go inside because I am curious, all right? It's up to you now. I'm telling you right now, the Botanical Garden is beautiful. It's B-E-A beautiful. B-E-A beautiful, look at that. Don't you want to go in there? You want to go in there. It's not a trap. Hold on, it's not a trap. Who wrote that? D-B-R beer B or rib or Herberibi. It's not a trap. 
or if it's, it's a really well trap, well presented trap. But w more reason for you to click the like button. Wouldn't you want to see me walk into a trap? That, that, that could fall on your shoulders if you click the like button. Is that, is that it? Is that, does that convince you? <laughs> it's a big cage. Oh, what do you mean like a cockroach hotel? If I go in, I'm not coming out. So that makes me a cockroach. What? Hey, John, glad to catch a live stream. Hey, Oliver. On my way back from work, get a cold beer. You got it. You got it. The day is young, but that does not, that should not stop anyone. Right here, this is proof that the Olympic venue for the archery events are going to be held here for even the Paralympics. I'm going to come and visit you at that time. I love the Paralympics. I'm more curious about the Paralympics because of the technology and the skill. Look at that. That is incredible, actually. Look at that. That takes skill. Mad skill, writes in Carl. Absolutely. That's not easy. Just normally standing. So. That's incredible. That's why I am, a, I am so stoked for the Paralympics after the main Olympics. Everyone's gonna leave, it'll be quiet a little bit more, and then the real games start because the technology and the, and the passion for the Paralympics is on another level. I went to wheelchair rugby the other day. Wheelchair rugby had the, um, the World Cup here. Oh, they're doing it. No, 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 no. They're doing it. Is it like rapid fire? It's through these windows. This is not the ideal situation. I wanted to be out there to see this. I'd like to just leave the tripod in the middle and say, everyone shoot at the camera and see who gets the closest. Olympics. Oh, this end is closed. This end is closed. Sorry, guys. Sorry. And they've, they've already gone, they've left already. How many likes do we have? 300. Is that the best I can do? Don't you guys have any fake accounts that you could log into and like and then come back to this one? And do not do that because that's, that's wrong. Don't know who's watching from YouTube. Don't do that. And people do the opposite of what you say, so don't do that. Do that. Wait. Never mind. Just drop it. Just drop it. Sometimes you have to drop it. Oh, they're doing it again. Oh, no, this spell. You hear that? That means it's clear and they can walk to go and see their targets hit. Yeah. They can walk and go see their targets. So we kind of missed it. It's all right. This is economy rights and this is my fake account. No, don't say that. Oh, I don't want to get banned. I'm so excited. Oh, no, no, what happened? Look at the poor guy that they threw inside the pot and they lit him on fire. Look, four colorful people bullied on the, on the one guy inside of the cup and they set it on fire. That's not funny. I don't know if he's on the outside or the inside. It looks like a shadow. It's bizarre. I don't know, let me, here's a screenshot right there, straight on. Strange. <laughs> that, that, my first thought was poor, look at that poor guy inside the cup when they lit him on fire. Oh man. The way I see things is not painted by a kid. They say kids are honest. The picture says a thousand words. <laughs> that was my first thought, like, oh, the poor guy. One of the Olympic colors is, it was thrown in and put on fire. Ah. 
All right. 300 and can we get to 350 at least i i don't know i don't know that's just if you want me to walk into a trap you better put like and i'm only gonna be in there for like five minutes you know and this is on the professor too professor thank you um we're going in on professor's dime thank you professor i'm i am curious I'm glad we got to see the ship um, from the Bikini Atoll, and, and I'm kind of excited about this. Look at that trap. They've caged the trees. I'm gonna let them out for hashtag team trees. You hear that? I'm gonna bring a rock, let them go. All right. <clears throat> please, please, please. Be on your best behavior. Let's first let's first see if they allow cameras in here. All right, cameras are okay, but no. Oh, for, you can get an annual passport for thousand yen and come back. Should I get a passport? No, I don't think I'll come back four times. It's it's two hundred and fifty yen or about two dollars and fifty cents for one adult, or you can. Come Come back, get a passport for unlimited entries for one year for a thousand yen. I think I'm just gonna come back. I'm not gonna come back more than four times in a year. Watch me come back for the Olympics like five times now. All right, here we go. Am I over 65? No, I'm not a boomer. Here we go, three, two, one. Very cool. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, by the way, um, here's the price list. So kids are also 80 yen. Elementary, uh, junior high and elementary are 80 yen. It's less than a dollar. So let's go in the dome. I'm speaking Japanese, but I'm speaking Japanese. I'm speaking Japanese. We got English info. It's a trap. It's a trap. Don't do it, John. Don't go in here. It's a trap. Oh, look at the smiley face. But that's not really... Is that a pumpkin? He's not smiling. Looks like the movie Halloween 3. The one with the mask. The kids don't come out. Is that me holding the camera? Don't... Oh, it said no Pokemon Go. Did you see that sign? It said no Pokemon Go. Sorry, there's a lag in there. This is inside of the dome. Underneath it is this really nice place that you can sit with the trees. I gotta go back into the lag zone in order to get inside of the biosphere. But if you can see through here, this cafe is beautiful. Check it out. I did not expect that. I wanna get an annual pass now. Can I return the ticket and get an annual pass? Oh man, it's a Wi-Fi trap. It's a Wi-Fi trap. Like the lady went upstairs. How'd she do that? Let's go up there. Okay. How do we get up there? Oh, oh this is so scary. I'm inside the biosphere. Biosphere. You can open it up. There's wheels on those. You can open it up. We're almost at 400 likes. I can control the entire 
biosphere from this panel. But I don't have the courage to push any buttons. Don't do it. Oh, that's the, I think that's the arachnid center. Stay away from there. That's nice in here, there's a park. Up here, you can go through that door. But it looks like a trap. Let's go inside. No, no tripods, but you can film inside the biosphere. Oh, it's hot in here, like Singapore. This is, I think when Singaporeans get homesick, they should come to the biosphere. This is awesome. Kanai, are you watching this? Check it out. We're inside the biosphere. It feels like Singapore. It's hot. Ah. Oh. Smells like Singapore, real fresh. This could be Indonesia. It smells good in here. All right, let's go down into the jungle. It's humid. It's like mosquitoes in here. Whoa. Check this out. That's a big banana tree. That's from the Jurassic era. So cool. That's like six meters high. In feet, I don't even know how many feet. Like a hundred feet. This mega plant is called the uh, mu Munin Tatsunamiso, or in English, the Scutellari Longituba. Longituba. You got, okay, you can Google that for more information. I'm not exactly knowledgeable. I'm an amateur botanist. I shouldn't even use the word botanist. That's an insult to botanists. I'm an amateur tree hugger. It's more like it. Are there bananas on that thing? And how big are the bananas? Is that a banana tree? That's got to be the biggest bananas in the world. Have to be from this, these trees. Wow. Oh, look at this bridge. And through the window, I so wish we had the ability to go super wide. Not quite yet on the uh, uh, I, YouTube app. It's the marina. Hey, you're gonna cross this bridge. I hope it's coming soon. This would be awesome and super wide. And this is spider bridge. I haven't seen any spiders. Don't assume that they're, they're there. Oh, and you can see through this window inside of the cafe. Is that not awesome? Oh, I'm coming back here just to have a ca to cafe and I might get the, the year pass because this is like a, like a 20, 30 minute bicycle ride to come out here. Whoa. That's a durian in a, preserved in a box. It's a durian tree here. Can't smell it. That's why they put it in one of these really tough box, boxes. Demonetize yourself. Do it now. Hey, these are um, cacao beans. These are like coffee trees. You see that? Uh, um, sorry, cacao. This is chocolate in there. That's chocolate. That's so cool. And don't try to give me a super chat to rip it off the tree. I'm not going to do something like that. I'm not that kind of... Star fruit! Whoa, I've never seen the star fruit tree. And then everyone in Indonesia is laughing at me like, I got one in my backyard. <laughs> Oh, there's more up there. 
you, you know what would make this complete monkeys but they would destroy the destroy the fruits and vegetables that it's grown in here wow there's some stairs here i'm gonna go up up the stairs and uh There's a, a hut. This is better than Disney because it's real. I'm now saying something. Is it echoing? I heard something echo. This is awesome. Wow, and this just goes up. It's very cool, better than Disney. It's cheaper than Disney. And after I see this, I'm gonna wanna eat a salad. So it's healthier than Disney. Seriously, if this is, they, this is like Jurassic Park without the dinosaurs. Who needs them? safer in the winter you want to come in here and sweat it out you have aerobics or something in here hot yoga i'm very impressed with this park all built on a landfill ah oh, it's beautiful there's here down here a little spring A river runs through it. No fish. I'm not gonna try the water. Should I? We didn't even get 500 likes. I don't do stuff crazy until we get the crazy level. I don't think you, could, you should drink the water. Maybe that's why there's no dinosaurs here. They used to be, they drank the water. Now the internet's going, you should do it, drink it. Look at you guys are awful friends. At least touch it. <laughs> what are you doing? Look, at least touch it. Oh, it's echoing. Echo, echo, echo. Oh, that's outside here, echo. Do, 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 do. Wow. Gee, I could hear. I'm making some. Uh, I can, oh, at the wall, it's echoes. Gotta be quiet. If the sound echoes off of this and just, it, I don't know, it, it expands the sound. It's crazy. All right, I won't touch it or drink it. I will look at the water. How's that? I'll just look at it. This is a coconut for those who've never seen one before. Talking about our friends in maybe Norway coconuts up in Canada maybe oh it's a mango tree hey guess what underneath the mango tree my darling and me check it out da 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 Dr. No, underneath the mango tree. Yeah. Love the colors, just a little bit. Oh, check this out. This is called the Bee Dome. Seriously, it says Bee Dome right there. Bee Dome. Here among the trunks of the palm trees, tropical houses begin to appear. Their roofs are made of Nipa palms, people in the tropics parts a lot of the edible plants such as bananas and uh, cassavas around their houses. In their gardens, pretty flowers such as franga paint, frangapani, and Barbados pride display their glory throughout the year. The bee dome. So this could have been like a house in the uh, 
olden days. I'm still like kind of freaked out because I just have a feeling that a spider has made a web that I can't see across the path. I'm kind of going like this to make sure it doesn't go in my mouth as I talk. It just feels like a spider would have made a web around here. Hey guys, I get to touch the water. If you want me to touch the water, click the like button. If you were hesitant to do it before, do it now. They gotta have some monster spiders in here. Ah, it's cold. Feels wet. Not a lot of people here. Those are so beautiful. Look at that. They're grown out of the rocks. This is called um, Fare no Pushisu. You see them in the openings of um, pachinko parlors and restaurants and stuff. You'll see those outside. Hostess clubs. Most places where ladies congregate in Japan. Oh, look at these are beautiful as well. Orchids, yeah, JKO Adventures, thank you. Leone Pitts, appreciate it, thank you. Yeah, orchids. Orchids. I, I'm glad we came in here. This is fun. This is really fun. Now let's do this again, all right. I'm on a gimbal, so you can do these really... S it's a nice pan. And then here's the A-Dome, which shouldn't be confused with the atomic bomb dome. The A-Bomb Dome. This dome duplicates the natural environs of the tropical shore lines. Ferns spread their big leaves and giant water lilies from the Amazon float their washtub-like leaves on the water's surface. There's also trees which grow at the edge of salt water, such as the mangrove which grows with its roots exposed, assuming grotesque shapes. Interesting. This is so beautiful. I wish that I could go wider, but this is as wide as it'll go. So just for the next 30 seconds, enjoy a panning view of the Biosphere Dome from an amateur botanist, tree-hugging botanist. Well said. Just think of all the work that goes into this. It, it's extraordinary. How much work. And it's just 250 yen. I think I'll buy a annual pass just to support them. I think I'll buy an annual pass just to support them because I think it's really, um, it's a really great place. I'm happy I went in here. All right, back to the Wi-Fi area. If, if the signal goes out, we'll be back on. I'm, I'm now leaving to go back to the station. All right. So if we lose the signal, there's, there's restrooms here. So if you need one, there's restrooms here. This is a really amazing, um, really amazing place. All right, let's get out of the Wi-Fi death zone. Arigatou gozaimasu. Oh, 
Uh, look, they did have free Wi-Fi, so maybe should have thought twice. Whoosh! Should have thought twice. Should have used the Wi-Fi, maybe. Once again, Yumi no, Yumi, Yume no Shima means Dream Island, and that tower we just went by is where they burn the garbage. Arigatou gozaimashita. You can see it right there. That's where they burn the garbage, and uh, there's industrial-sized filters that make it not bad for the environment, they say. Weather is surprisingly... It's a good question. While we're walking back towards the station for the next uh, five minutes or so, you can see I'm dressed in shorts. And um, I have my jacket tied around my waist because with the sun out, it is really warm. It's almost spring-like weather, like May. Um, it's very, very nice weather today. So I'm hoping it holds tomorrow on our flight to Fukuoka. Yeah. Jay Mason writes in here, Hey John, do you think that the tourism the Olympics will bring possibly could possibly affect Japan's culture or people negatively? Hmm. That's a good question, and there's been some thought on that. I'll tell you, it's already been kind of negative in a, in a strange way. Because Japan is so critical of itself, they, people here beat themselves up to try to be perfect. The result is that, yeah, we're going to have a really great Olympics. I, I, I'm almost sure of it. But I think that people are already trying to make concessions and trying to make it too perfect. Right? I don't think they should try that hard. I think maybe that's the sign is symbolic of that. People are trying too hard to make it the perfect Olympics. And I think that that's when problems arise. When bureaucrats have too much time. There's the, uh, the archery field. And you can see they're just, they've just finished a shot. A match. And they're going to collect their arrows. Whoosh. Yeah. Um, it's on another note. I think over the last couple of generations you've been seeing more of the younger people um, losing touch with the culture they don't know how to tie an obi or they don't know how to do certain things especially in the city but i've noticed in the last couple of years because of more this is a good thing with foreign tourism because there are more foreign tourists here and japanese are always great hosts they want you to be happy japanese are learning about things that that international tourists might be interested in and reconnecting with their own culture so i think that that's an excellent thing that's happening you can see here the park and a truck <laughs> we got kind of a hike to get back to the station so we're gonna walk this way you see we're gonna walk this way and follow the tracks along the parking lot i'm going to show you this area and then um we're gonna go back to the station and there's a, a delicious curry udon place which will smell No fires, no barbecues here. Dogs must be leashed. No climbing the fence. No, it doesn't say no parkour though. If you're parkouring the fence, it could be different. I haven't seen any parkourians as well. This is interesting. What is this for the Olympics here? They got something going on. This might be one of the venues or, or halls, but there's a couple of events here because now this is i'm gonna to start to get really honest with you all right a lot of tokyo is landfill all right around the bay if you look at maps from 150 years ago um when commodore perry's black ship came in with cannons he could fire the cannons i remember reading the reports historical reports he could fire the cannons across the bay across to the imperial palace right and i said how is that possible because of all these, oh wait, none of this islands in the middle of the bay were ex existing except for Tsukuda, which is a little rock where the Osaka fishermen were living 150 years ago. So all this is new land. Commodore Perry could shoot his cannons straight at the Imperial Palace because he got so close, like all the way up to Ginza. But because this is all built on trash, 
not a lot of Japanese want to live in an apartment on trash. Kanai's father always says when, when we drive through a Toyosu area, he goes, I can't believe people live here. It's trash. And I, I agree. It's like, that's pretty crazy. He doesn't say it in a negative way. I think maybe in a surprised way. But I got no problems living on trash. You don't, you, don't, you don't really know what was on that land before you. But knowing that it's trash wouldn't really affect. It's a nice place to live. I don't expect to live there forever. I don't expect to live forever. Probably the trash that I'm on will outlive all of us. It does not smell bad at all. If anything, it's the opposite. It smells very jungly. Which is a good thing because there's some massive highways that run along the coast going towards Narita and towards um, um, Chiba City and then into the city of Tokyo. These highways are here and here straddling this park. So the air when we walk towards the station gets really bad. But this is almost like a paradise. That's the archery event, that white wall over there, beyond there. It's where you can go to see the archery event. These are great questions. Go ahead and ask me. It's going to take us about five minutes to walk over to the station. So I'll stick with you until the end. Ask away. Tim Lawson. Parts of San Francisco were landfills in the South Bay area. Interesting. It's interesting. see why Tom Cruise filmed The Last Samurai, some parts of New Zealand, because New Zealand kind of looks like Japan 150 years ago, untouched, pristine nature. Some Japan, to me, Japan is more about the nature and the mountains and that culture, ryokans and onsen and um, this peace and connection with nature. And in Tokyo, you get almost the opposite. And that it's, it's sort of sad. People misinterpret the subculture, manga, anime, and what's happening inside Tokyo and the high technology and all this with what Japan actually is, which is a, a deep connection with nature. See, look at the manhole covers. See what I'm talking about? Nature. There's a flower right in the middle. Yeah. A friend of mine <coughs> um, and other backpackers told me at any given time half of New Zealand is backpacking abroad so that therefore when you are backpacking around Southeast Asia Europe the world and you bump into a New Zealander just think that there's only five million people in the entire country or so so at any given time half the population is backpacking just crazy to think about but kind of true you meet a lot of Kiwis out there when you're when you're traveling meet a lot of Japanese too. I backpacked f around the world five times between 1996 and 2003. It was an amazing time in my life. I retired before I worked. Would make money and then live frugally out on the, in the world camping, one dollar guest houses in Vietnam and Cambodia, seeing all the world sites. It's changed a lot over the last uh, 20, 25 years, a lot. The world has flights have become more expensive. Security protocol is, is off the charts challenging, which is, it keeps us safe, but getting visas to other countries where it was a lot easier. I remember going to the embassy to get a Kenya visa in Beijing for, for a trip to Africa. And there's no Chinese getting, this is 19, what, what year was this? 2000 and, the year 2001. Yeah, right before, right in uh, July of 2001. Um, me and my friend Yuki, we went to the Kenya embassy in Beijing to get a visa for Kenya. And the ambassador did it himself. <laughs> I think he had one staff who wasn't there. The ambassador put the put the stamp in her passports um, after doing like a really brief check in some office in Nairobi. And then we had coffee with him. 
<laughs> he liked coffee, not tea, so much. Wonderful guy. And then when we left the embassy, he waved waved goodbye to us and, and hoped us a good stay in Kenya. Um, that was pretty cool. I remember going to get, I had to get the yellow fever shot in um, Beijing for Africa. And the yellow fever shot cost me $3 in Beijing, which made me somewhat suspicious, but it seemed to work. It only cost $3 for, and the other vaccine cost me less than a dollar total. I think I left there with $7 worth of complete tr travel vaccinations in, in 2001. It's definitely a space odyssey. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Africa was amazing. Took the Trans-Mongolian Railroad from Beijing across Mongolia, uh, past Lake Baikal to Moscow. Took 10 days because we stopped a couple days in, in uh, uh, UB, Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia. The sun never really set. I remember going into a bar in, in uh, the city in Mongolia. We came out, it was midnight and the sun was still on the horizon. It was crazy. A lot of the trucks in Japan talk. They will tell you that they're turning left and right. I'm turning left and right. Please be careful. So, talking, I'm not sure how the signal would be. We're going underneath one of the biggest expressways in, in Japan, I believe. We're going now towards the station. So, this is the walk to, to return back to the mainland <laughs> from the Yumi no Shima. Yume no Shima, which means Dream Island. We're returning now to um, Shinkiba. And Dr. Uh, Professor Dell, uh, if we do meet up, maybe I'm going to contact with the boats that do the river tours, which is not too far away from here, and see if they can make a reservation for like 20 people. Maybe we'll do a meet up on a boat. Kanai's been asking me to do that too. 25th seems like a good, good enough day as a target. Talking trucks, that's right. Oh, wait, it's green. Or is it blue? I don't want to hang out underneath the. Wi-Fi death zone for too long. All right, we're now in front of this, in behind the station. And this is an amazing curry udon shop underneath the highway. It smells ridiculous, like good in a, in a good way. I've already eaten, but just to give you a little offering of the fare, this is curry udon. Udon is a thick noodle. Oh my, that looks so good. It, underneath there is um, the curry soup is thick, thick noodles. That's a beautiful katsudon set. There's some more curry and, and here's a gyudon mini set. That's $9, less than $9. It's crazy, right? And there's some just some cold udon. Yeah. Do I ever see TV news crews reporting? Yeah, I see them. I'm one of them. I did last week and two weeks ago, I've been filming a show for Tokyo Eye, which is an NHK world program. I've been on for, I think, 48, 49 times since 2008. The Yurakucho line and the JR line. Yeah. So we came out here for the 500th, oh, ramen. We came out here for the 500th episode of Tokyo Eye. They invited me on there because I've been on like 10% of the shows. <laughs> and we took one of those boats and we, and we um, crawled down the Sumida River doing, filming the episode, going underneath all of the bridges. And they cut most of my talks out because I was too lively, which is not good for NHK. It's all right. I'll always, I'll always love that show, Tokyo Eye, and, and the people there because I know who's the production crew is behind all of that. It's a pretty cool telephone booth. Mobius 5000. Hey, good night. Thanks again for the great live stream. You're welcome, Mobius. Is that the same Mobius on our Discord server? I wonder. I appreciate that. I'm going to go and get a haircut now. So, my haircut place is in Chiba. I've been going to the same barber for... Um, like almost 15 years now. 
Yeah, almost 15 years. My, so my train will go past Tokyo Disneyland. I will try to Instagram it for you. This has been an incredible live stream. I want to say thank you to everybody who has been watching this for 76 minutes. You guys are, are warriors. That looks good too. Look at this. I'm getting hungry. Check it out. The Loteria Classic Burger looks more than classic. I don't remember that being a classic when I was growing up. Onion rings and sauce. Oh man. Loteria is doing something. That's the, that's the chain that had like a tower of 10 burgers on top of it. They were one of the first ones to just... No, three's not enough. Five, we can do seven. Let's just go to 14. I believe they did 14 at one point. Why stop there? Let's do 100. That's the kind of thinking that got the Yonshakudama fireworks on that episode I made. It's like, why stop here? Let's do one bigger. Let's just keep going. Let's make it 64 times bigger. Why not? What's stopping us? Oh, the size of the cannon. Why not? Let's make a bigger cannon. Things, that's how insanity starts. Good stuff comes from people who dare to, to do something bigger or greater. That's what I dare with this channel called Only in Japan. I dare to go bigger, better, faster, crazy, faster, nicer than others who try the same format. So stick with us. Subscribe, click the always button so you don't get to so get the notifications because it's a lot more fun when it's live and you get to communicate with me and you never know what happens. The other day, Gil told me to go to the right and we went to the right and we found this incredible um, children's park that had a really deep meaning. And this is where I started my trip this morning. This is the station. You can take the Keio line, which goes towards Tokyo Disneyland, the Rinkai line, which goes towards Odaiba, or the Yurakucho line, which goes towards Yurakucho and Ginza Ichome, and back into the city. And that's the subway. So you can get a one-day subway pass and come out here. This is the last stop on the Yurakucho line. And if you go the Yurakucho line the other way, you get to Kawagoe. The live stream that Kanai and I did about two weeks ago in Saitama just goes straight. That's like at the end of it, Kawagoe. It's another line. But I'm taking JR. I'm getting a, a um, haircut. So once again, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to Fukuoka tomorrow, so look for Haneda Airport live stream, maybe, or arriving in a rent a car live stream or something. We're going to do something really crazy. And of course, Saturday morning, mark your calendars at 9 a.m., about 9 a.m. Japan time. I'll be doing a live stream on the um, Asia Spelling Cup. I've been emceeing the event for the last seven six or seven years bali bangkok bangkok kuala lumpur singapore this year's in japan next year's in vietnam it's awesome so i'm really happy to be part of the asia spelling cup i'm seeing it very cool i got some friends that are going to be pronouncers and judges so see you there see you in fukuoka on the other side oh and if you want a postcard jeffrey i'm going to be sending this out jeffrey um this one's coming to you i'm using a can i put this in without showing the address Putting in the emperor's, in the emperor's stamp on it for you, Jeffrey. So it's coming to you, buddy, in the next um, um, mailbox I pass.